In this very brief demo, I would like to touch on the topic of identity resolution in the mParticle platform. Our IDSync API, its main purpose is to deterministically resolve unique users based on different first party identifiers. But I want to focus on the topic of anonymous to non profile conversions, especially on the web. But as you can see here, regardless of where you're collecting your data and your different sources, you might have different requests coming from client side applications like websites and mobile apps uh, that have customer ID or email. You might have some requests that contain both, uh, maybe from a partner or from a second party data source. So you can have a lot of different requests. And the purpose and what ID Sync is trying to, is looking to accomplish is to resolve all those into a single lemon particle ID, which will contain user profile information, but also event data associated to that profile. And I want to show you that you know anonymous to known uh, conversion path by using a sample website in here. So I'm going to clear this up, and I'm going I'm going to go into this site, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all my data. Uh, on this site, just to make sure that we can start from scratch as an anonymous user. So I'm gonna go ahead, ahead and refresh, and you will notice that because I'm using the web SDK for a particle, a lot of events are gonna be tracked in real time as I go through the site and do different actions. So you see that we have a, a session start, and we are currently on the welcome page here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna keep logging for now to stay anonymized, and I'm gonna look a couple a couple products. We're now on the main page. And I look at this really cool upright piano. I'm looking at it and you can see here that we're sending an event for a view detail type of action for that upright piano. And we have some product details around that. And all of that is, all of that is being captured in real time. But then maybe I look at this pretty cool microphone um, and I actually wanna you know, go ahead and add two of those to my cart. And I'm gonna add to cart and then I'm gonna view my cart. And you see that a lot of those events are coming through and I wanna show you that, you know, just like I showed you before, we're looking at this microphone and I've selected two of them. So the quantity is reflected here. So I have, you know, all the information is being tracked perfectly. But I also wanna show you that we're tracking all of this against an anonymous ID. So if I click here on the batch, this is a, a batch that is coming from web, it will show me some user information. And you see that this is pretty empty. I don't really have a lot of information on this user. So if I, ex if I expand here, I wanna show you that the current particle ID for this user starts in 805 and it ends in 958. So this is something to remember when we transition from anonymous to known later on. You will see that I don't have a customer ID or an email. Um, I only have a device application stamp as a device ID in a particle and then I have you know I don't have a lot of information here in terms of user attributes I only have you know really powerful calculated attributes that I can create in a particle but in this case I'm looking at you know the most frequent products product category that have been added to cart which is instruments so that's right and I don't have any purchases within the last two weeks but those are things that I'm tracking as calculated attributes created in a particle but then you know I don't really have much else. I do have all the events that I, of all the actions that, I, that I've done so far against, capture against this profile. But now I wanna go back into live stream and I wanna go to that sign up flow and show you what that will look like. So let's clear this up. I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna span so that I can see the signing button. And I'm gonna you know, input my credentials and my password and I'm gonna sign in. And this is a demo site that has the web and particle SDK. But what you will see is that, you know, what this does is actually assign random shopper information. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch to a different shopper. So now, um, let's say I am Michael Wagner, male of 32 years old, with a primary interest and, interest and some secondary interest. So I have some information against this shopper. So I'm gonna confirm it, and I'm gonna close this a little bit. So actually what I wanna show you is that as I went through the signup flow, a lot of things happen in a particle. User identity changes, user attributes modified, and you know some other attributes that were added into this profile. So now if I click here and I look at, you know, a bird's side view of the profile, I now have a lot more information about this profile by going through the signup flow. So if I expand on the profile, 
what you will see here is that we have the same M particle ID that we had before for that anonymous profile, starting in 805 and ending in 958. But I now have a customer ID, an email. I have another feed of information for that profile. I have the same device application stamp, but now I have a lot more attributes and information about this user. The first name, last name, city, country, um, you know, I have their um, purchase count is still zero, but I have, you know, information about their persona, their most frequent categories. I just have a lot more information and product recommendations against this known profile now. So with that, we're gonna wrap it up, but hopefully that gave you a view into, you know, how seamless and particle through the Identity Sync API and our web SDK makes it so that you can transition anonymous profiles into known profiles pretty pretty easily in a particle.